If you suspect something is wrong with your controller and you want to confirm it before attempting to fix it, one easy way to do that is to use GamePadTester.com, which is a free to use website. You simply pull up the site on your computer or phone, connect a controller, and then push some buttons on the controller. You'll see a screen similar to the one that's shown here. If you hit one of the standard buttons like triangle, you should see one of the values on the screen change from a 0 to a 1. If that doesn't happen, you'll need to fix that button. I'll touch more on fixing in a minute. If your button is pressure sensitive, pressing it will reveal a decimal value. By applying varying levels of pressure, you should be able to smoothly go from a 0 to a 1. If it's an analog stick, you should be able to go all the way down to negative 1 as well. If you can't reach those numbers, or the numbers are extremely jittery, you may want to fix the issue, unless it's not causing any noticeable change in your gameplay. Some controllers may jitter a little bit and be just fine. When you're not touching the analog stick, the dot should ideally recenter itself dead center in the circle shown here. If it's off center, it probably means you're seeing unintentional movement on the screen. Some games may be affected by this more than others. If you determine you have an issue with a button or analog stick, the general advice is to clean the button area. Food, hair, factory dirt, and other debris gets in there. There's a few other fixes too that involve replacing springs, running firmware updates, changing your settings, and so forth. I've made many videos that show how to do these things for the most common controllers out there, like the DualShock 4, the DualSense, the Xbox Series X controller. If you have an off-brand controller, some of the techniques will still work. A small portion of controllers may actually be physically damaged and may be beyond repair, but I estimate about 90% of you will see improvements by doing the things in those videos. So I recommend you give them a try before throwing the controller out the window. I'll list those videos in the description. I'll also put a link to a playlist on the screen right here. If if you click it, you could then jump to the video that's most relevant to your controller. And that's all I had. Have fun everybody.